This is a Whoop. Whoop. A personalized digital fitness tracker and health coach that helps you train smarter, sleep better, and feel healthier. My name is Steven. Welcome back to Steven Talks Tech. Today, I'll be giving you a first look and hands-on of the new Whoop 4.0 fitness tracker. I'll get into what's new about it, how it works, and why Whoop had to send me three separate shipments to finally be able to use my tracker. The first thing worth noting, which some of you might be painfully aware of, is that Whoop is experiencing crippling delays getting all of the new units shipped out. I got mine in mid-November, and from what I've been reading, most people are still waiting on their units. When you finally get the Whoop 4, you'll find something interesting in the box. It comes with the new tracker, battery pack, charger cable, and instruction manual, but it also comes with an extra strap, sanitizing wipes, and a brown paper envelope. I got the 4.0 in all black, which is the same color as my 3.0, and you can immediately see that the form factors between the two are similar, but definitely not the same. The 4.0 is slightly thicker than its predecessor, but the more noticeable change is in the shorter body of the unit. This allows for the sensor to take up less area on your wrist and be more comfortable as a result. The 4.0 rocks an all new super knit band, which Whoop says is engineered for enhanced comfort and durability. After wearing it for a month, I'd say the Super Knit Band is marginally more comfortable than the old version, but the real improvement in comfort comes from the smaller footprint of the sensor, like I mentioned before. Also in the box are the charging pack and charging cable. The charging cable has been upgraded from micro USB to USB-C, and the charging pack has two major upgrades. The first being a much bigger battery with almost double the capacity, and the second being IP68 dust and waterproofing. Whoop markets this new waterproof feature as never having to take your Whoop off your wrist, because now you can even charge it while underwater or in the shower. And it feels like more of a gimmick that most people just won't end up taking advantage of. After all the visible design changes, we get to far and above the main reason why you would buy or upgrade to the fourth generation. And that would be everything that's on the inside. The Whoop 4.0 sports five LEDs and four photodiodes in its redesigned sensor, which bring new tracking for skin temperature and blood oxygen. In addition to its existing tracking for respiratory rate, heart rate, and heart rate variants which in theory will result in more accurate and personalized analysis to help you train and sleep more efficiently. The final improvement in the new model is the introduction of haptic feedback, which is currently used for setting a wake up alarm that vibrates your wrist when it's time to wake up in the morning. If you watched my video on the Bose sleep buds, you know how important sleep is to me and I've really enjoyed waking up with the haptic alarm every morning since I've got this. With the addition of these new sensors, Whoop finally brings themselves up to the level of other fitness trackers like Apple Watch and Fitbit, and I was already really impressed with Whoop's data analysis in their third generation model, so hopefully their training model just gets better and better with more data. Now, I mentioned I got something unexpected when I opened up my 4.0. And honestly, it's one of the most brilliant marketing campaigns I've seen in a long time. Send all upgrading users a brand new wristband, instruction manual, and even sanitizing wipes so that they can give their old but perfectly functional Whoop 3.0 to a friend, along with two months of free Whoop subscription. It helps put old batteries to good use and keeps them out of landfills. And it gives Whoop free word of mouth marketing, which is the most powerful way to secure new customers. After going through everything that's new with the fourth generation tracker, I wanted to show you what it's like using a Whoop every day and what the tracking experience is like. With all of the metrics I mentioned, Whoop syncs them with your mobile app to calculate three core measurements, strain, 
sleep, and recovery. Strain takes into account any way you exert yourself throughout the day and lets you record lots of different activities, including my top ones, which are running, weightlifting, golf, and snowboarding. Sleep measures all of your different stages of sleep, such as light, REM, and deep sleep, how much sleep you got, number of disturbances, and even how much sleep you need to optimally perform the next day. Finally, recovery combines your balance of strain and sleep along with your biometric readings to assess how recovered your body is and whether or not it is primed to take on excessive strain and training. This can help you make decisions on when and how hard to train in whatever way you exercise and to live a healthier life in general. Every week and month, WHOOP generates performance assessments that beautifully display your behavior in an easy to visualize way that helps you improve in consistency as time goes on. These performance assessments are a really helpful way for me to visually see whether or not I'm training, sleeping, and recovering in an optimal way. So I think that covers everything new with the fourth generation WHOOP tracker, but the story isn't over just yet. You see, this isn't the WHOOP 4.0 I ordered, and this isn't the charger that came with it. The original charger and tracker I received refused to work. The sensor would drop hours worth of data and be unrecoverable. The battery in it would die in a day. The charger would start and stop charging every second and never reach full capacity. And the tracker would start a software update, take an hour and then fail with no explanation. I had to unpair my fourth generation tracker and go back to using my 3.0 until my replacements arrived because the fourth gen was literally unusable and giving me wildly inconsistent data. The reason I'm telling you this is to highlight a very real problem that Whoop is facing right now. They cannot keep up with demand for the 4.0. Does this mean you shouldn't upgrade to the Whoop 4.0? No. I think it's an awesome product and I'm extremely happy with mine. What it does mean is you might be waiting a while for your order to deliver and when it does, it might have some bugs. I don't think the fourth generation tracker is polished enough for the mainstream market just yet and that most people using it fall into the category more of an early adopter. I know I went over a lot in this video, but I wanted to capture everything I encountered when first using this product hands-on. And even though it wasn't the smoothest process, I can still strongly recommend the Whoop 4.0 for anyone that wants to live a healthier lifestyle. Paying for a Whoop subscription isn't the cheapest, but if you use my link in the description, you can get your first month free to try it out for yourself. And I certainly think the price is well worth the positive impact I've seen it have on my life. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful. This has been a first look and hands-on of the all new Whoop 4.0. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Steven Talks Tech. Peace.